Hello and welcome back for another cube draft. Nice pack. We get to pick a mox. Um, I'm going to be making some different picks than I normally would. I've been struggling in this cube. And then there's been this uh, conversation on Twitter about top 50 lists. A lot of the, the people are still on like all the blue cards and, and you name it. But there's also a contingent of people that just takes all the, the good removal and good cheap threats over, over many of the traditional good cards like treachery. And the idea is that Treachery is no longer good enough. This is just not impactful enough on turn on turn five or it's too slow. And there's so many threats that kill you so quickly that playing to the board in the early turns is more important and having plays to the board in terms of like threats or removal is going to be better. So I'm going to try out that strategy for the draft. It actually netted me three trophies in my last four drafts. I'm excited to see what it can do here. See, now this is an interesting pack. A lot of people take the Mana Vault. I wouldn't fault you for, for it. Uh, it's a powerful card. It can do busted things. But one of the cards that's super high, even the, the, the pros like LSV are high on sorts of plow shares. It's just a very efficient answer and cheap answers to make sure you don't just get mowed down in the early game are quite important. Mana Vault's the traditional like, oh, busted mana artifact, take this and, 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 and go from there. Time Twister is nice too, but I think I'm going to take Swords to Plowshares. It's just so efficient and there's almost nothing that rivals it in terms of efficient removal. So let's take that and see what we get. Um, I don't want to be white weenie, otherwise I could take this Thalia here. Jace is pretty good with Swords and Mox Jet. It's not really the type of deck that I was talking about earlier. Mostly those decks have been like Mardu value piles or black red or black white good threats and, and removal but there's nothing else here that really entices me yeah plateau but plateau is a duel that you can often wheel i'll take the jace here hopefully i'm making some sense it's i'm getting used to this whole new strategy and also explaining it and then this pack there's parallax wave which really quite good <laughs> it was always pretty good but it's just gotten better and better if you play this you could just play wind your opponent for two to three turns and have an uncontested board it stops a lot of the creature combos like it blocks sneak attack it blocks twin it's good against aggro it takes care of all the tokens it's just really good it protects your own guys as well otherwise skyclave apparition is also a card i'm interested in as well as this badlands but stuff like shell lock io is really fallen off i think it used to be like a high pick but games don't typically go that long anymore i mean sometimes they do but i think it's better to try and win early we're also set up for like blue white control um now here i think i'm going to take dark confidant dark confidant is a great threat we even have mox jet and if i'm looking to play a bunch of cheap interaction and cheap creatures confidant gets that much better yeah there was a time that this was considered maybe unplayable in cube or just not great but i think it actually is pretty good i'd love to get this path it's not as good as swords because swords you can play turn one turn two and no biggie and late as well and path just gets a little bit better later in the game so let's take the dark confidants and here there's this tower yeah maybe maybe tower but i am kind of eyeing this pyromancer or i could take the student but i'm looking to be more than white and then student is a lot less impactful tower is a duel but it's a tapped one i think i'm going to take the pyromancer then rabble master gix oust winds of abandon Rabble Master is a good threat. I don't know if I'm going to be red. I'm definitely white. So it's between Oust and Winds of Abandon. The overload on Winds of Abandon is strangely quite relevant. So fire removal spell early and then late game, you can just kill all the stuff. They get a bunch of lands, but hopefully by then we're both top decking. So I'll take the winds. And then there's Hero of Bladehold, which is a really nice threat that we will be taking. Ooh, Flicker Wisp. I love Flicker Wisp. That does a lot too. Flicker Wisp with Parallax Wave is nice. Um, Flicker Wisp, just blinking tokens or stuff. A flyer, there's value to be had here. Let's take Flicker Wisp. And then I've actually enjoyed Knight of the Reliquary, although it doesn't look that great for this deck. Esper Sentinel, it's good, but it's a 1-1. One -one. I think I'm going to take it. It's nice to have early plays. And then I'll take the Thalia. I don't know if I want to start it. It could still be Mono White, even though I don't necessarily want to be. But it's a good sideboard card too. Skyclave Apparition, nice. Uh, I'll take Hellrider. So we have Jace and Seasoned Pyromancer as potential cards to, to splash. Although, or yeah, we might be red, we might be blue. I definitely want to be black for this Dark Confidant. Thalia is more of a sideboard card for me. Uh, I'll take the Student. Maybe we end up Mono White. I'd like to not be, but we'll see. 
Last big desperate ritual. Okay, something good. Something, something good. A uh, Ragavan. That puts us back into red, but I don't mind going into red for Ragavan. I do like Mox Diamond, but I've been a little bit lower on it. Um... Yeah, let's take Ragavan. Ragavan's very powerful. We have some removal to force it through. Ragavan is a card that is very good if your opponent is still in the Signet Age of Cube. It becomes less good if people are playing a similar deck to what I'm trying to draft because they'll have more removal and early board presence. But there's quite a few Signet gamers out there. We'll take the Ragavan. And otherwise, if they, if against a deck like this, it's still not bad. I mean, they have to respect it. They have to block it. They trade. It's fine. It's a one mana card, so... There's very little downside. Now I'll take Inquisition of Kozilek here. I like the Skydiver, but we're not blue. Then Lingering Souls is not bad. Giver Runes is also quite good. So let's take the Giver. Season Pyromancer, yes. I do need some fixing. Ooh, Thoughtseize I really like. Yeah, and then this Young Pyromancer I wouldn't mind either. But I also wouldn't mind Thraven Inspector. We're looking to be black-white and have outs to maybe play red. but. We'd need pretty good fixing. Uh, Godless Shrine. Oh, Dothy Voidwalker. Yeah, I'm going to take the Voidwalker. Hope to wield the Godless Shrine. But this is a great card. It has pretty real upside. If you go like Dothy Voidwalker and then Inquisition Dem or Thoughtsies, or it's mostly Thoughtsies. Thoughtsies something huge. Take it. Incidental Graveyard Hate. Hard to block. It does quite a lot. I also wouldn't mind Ephemerate, but we'll take Voidwalker. Ooh, Lurus is fun but Copter is really nice. So I'm going to take the Copter, and then Blackleaf Cliffs is nice. I like Burst as well, but Copter is just super good. Another great pack. I like Shriek Maw. It's a cheap removal spell and a late game threat, but Loran has also been super good. Just a Rex Age, and then potentially you have the upside of drawing some cards. Kaito's good, but I don't want to go into blue, really. Let's take the Loran. I wouldn't mind Shriek Maw. Probably Mizium Warder's Tables out of this pack, or maybe the Ravine. Let's take the Loran. Tide Hollow Scholar, Monastery Mentor, this Triome. I don't need another three necessarily. I think I'm going to take this Bloodsheath Thirst. It's a cheap removal spell, and I want quite a few of those. Scholar is fine too, but let's take the removal. Okay, I'll take a land here, and another land. Nice. And then... Lingering Souls or Hero's Downfall. We have Season Pyromancer or Smuggler's Copter to make Lingering Souls better. Though it's looking less likely that we play red. Sucks that we wasted a pick on Ragavan then, I guess. Okay, Draven Inspector did come back. Ephemerate. There was something else in this pack that I wanted. I think the Duel. Yeah, but I'll take an Ephemerate. We have Flicker Wisp, uh, Skyclave, Loran. If we can get a Solitude, that would be really, really nice. Selfless Spirit. Okay. Shriek Maw, nice. Oh, that's awesome. With the Ephemerate. I wasn't expecting Shriek Maw to come back, but it did. So I'm happy with it. Oh, Mana Crypt. Wow. I was excited to see Skull Clamp, which is a card I've also been liking in these decks. But Mana Crypt, even though we have a lot of cheap spells and doesn't power out everything, we also have some three drops and some four drops. So I got to take that here. Otherwise, Restoration Angel is fine. Skull Clamp's good too, but we'll take a Crypt. And then we get a Scrubland. Oh, and Layla. Layla is also so busted. I mean, we don't have red fixing, so I really shouldn't take it. I'm going to take the Scrubland, but Layla is really good. It just kills so quickly. And if we had a red deck, we would be able to go like Mana Crypt, turn one Layla. And Scrubland is the, is the right pick here. Lightning Bolt, Soulfire Grandmaster, Mana Tithe. I'm going to take the Lightning Bolt. Probably we're not going to get to play it, but if we do, I really... Have been liking lightning bolt cheap removal and a gungo face just very versatile and i think i'm going to be fine on playables taking a speculative card here is more than fine stoneforge mystic mesmeric fiend i'll take the stoneforge maybe we can get a jit or a batter skull or we just don't play it but there's nothing else here that i'm excited about mesmeric fiend's fine but not exciting all right sunbaked canyon Let's just splash maybe some red cards. I don't want to splash Ragavan off a few red lands. Ragavan is not a splash card. I think I'm going to take Infernal Grasp to mana, unconditional removal. Or I could take the Metamorph. I also really like Metamorph here. And the grass probably tables. Metamorph for Flicker Wisp, Shriek Maw, Apparition. I wouldn't mind Metamorphing a Void Walker. No, I'm going to take the, the grass. Uh, Showdown of the Skulls is another card I've been liking. Again, this would need to be a splash. But what am I giving up? Like land tax, I don't want to play. 
Yeah, I'm going to take this and then we'll see. People have been high on Steel Seraph, the people that have been inspiring me to take these type of picks. But Console's Judgment just removes everything that you want. So I'm going to take that. But Seraph is not bad. I'm not as high on it as some people, but... Ooh, History of Banalia, Bloodgast. I mean, I only have Smuggler's Copter to make Bloodgast good. The History... Or I could take the Lion Sash as a graveyard hate piece. Let's move this to the board. Then I don't really need additional playables. So let's take the Sash for the sideboard. And then a Relic for the sideboard as well. This was the Skull Clamp pack. It's not there anymore. Sometimes it wheels, but not often. Uh, I'll take Elspeth. If we're going to go bigger, we can. Woe Strider, Grandmaster, Mana Tithe. I'll take the Tithe. Destroy Evil is not bad. Ooh, sword with the Stoneforge is nice. Land Tax. I'm a little low on card advantage engines, but I think we have a decent deck. So 16 lands, a Mox and a Mana Crypt, and I think reasonable mana requirements. Yeah, seems fine. Let's try it. <laughs> I've been hyping this strategy, so it better work. Otherwise, I'm going to look like a fool. Round one, we have this hand. We are on the draw. We have a turn two, or sorry, turn one Void Walker. We have a bit too much mana. We need a white source. I'm going to keep this, but it could easily be a mole. I have, I have faith. Island Lotus Petal. Okay. Suspicious Stowaway. Okay, they get the loot. Ooh, and we even drew a Plains, which is nice. We go... Mox Jet, Void Walker. I could play my Mana Crypt to play around days. I don't think that's necessary. They were probably expecting this to flip. I mean, well, not necessarily, but it could. We actually, if they play nothing, we can make sure that it flips back, if that's what they're going for. They also need to be careful what they discard, because we get it with the Void Walker. So if they discard some big fatty, it's not going to work out well for them. No, they just discard an island, okay? Lotus Bloom on Suspend, and... I guess we swing for three, and then we're gonna play Thraven Inspector, play the Crypt, play the Crypt. Their guy is gonna flip back. I'm gonna crack my clue as well. Maybe we draw a Thoughtseize or an Inquisition. Esper Sentinel, okay. So their guy flips back. They still only get the loot. If we draw a White Source, that would be nice. So we can still double spell if they try and flip this again. I guess we could also ephemerate this to get another clue. If we're really desperate to try and keep them off of flipping this. Smuggler's Copter. Okay, pass again. Um, we're going to go with Heads. Lost a flip. Council's Judgment. They missed a land draw. I think, to be honest, what I'm going to do is attack with the Void Walker and the Inspector. And I think I will just ephemerate this. Crack the clue. Get another white card. Okay, that's pretty bad. This doesn't flip back. I guess it will flip back on our next turn anyways. Just because Ephemerate will come in. Yeah, we can't block that. You draw a card. But they're missing land drop, so they're not really getting anywhere. Yeah, we get to blink. Okay, well, they just scoop. By the way, it's so greedy. They discard an island and then miss the land drop on the turn following. That's weird. And they have Lotus Bloom, Lotus Petal, Smuggler's Copter. This must be... A reanimator deck? I think it might be a reanimator deck, though. Not 100% certain. I think Selfless Spirit can go. I'm going to put in the stash or the sash. I don't know if I want Relic as well. It might be a bit much. I could take out my Lingering Souls, put in the Relic. Yeah, let's do that. I feel like they are a reanimator deck. Well, we have our Graveyard Hate. We also have Inquisition into Dark Confidant, so I'm going to keep this. Again, Light on White. Well, no White at all. Island, nothing. Grasp. Let's see what's up. Okay. Brainstorm Emery Hearse. If I take the hearse, I think I'm going to take the brainstorm. I don't care about the hearse. Yeah, let's take the brainstorm. I don't care about the hearse. I don't care about the Emery, to be honest. You get to go island hearse. Okay. Do need a land, but we have the Dark Confidant to search for one. And then we can grasp Emery. Okay, top. Sure. You get to look at the top cards. No, it doesn't do anything, especially if they're going to Emery. I would like to land or not. Um, we have one card in hand. I could kill the Emery. Yeah, I think I need to because otherwise they get the Red Offitter Foundry and it's just bad. Or I could Relic, pop the Relic, hope to find the land and then play, if it's a white land, the Sentinel. I don't hate that either. Let's go for that. White land. Any land, but preferably a white one. Yeah, they're going to grow the hearse. Makes sense. I guess... Okay, it's a black land. It's fine. I won't attack into the Emery. They get the top, but they have one card in hand and not much going on. 
beside this hearse, which we can kill. They're topping again, so they haven't found anything to do, probably. I guess we can't really kill the hearse until Emery's dead. Hmm. Mistress Factory lets them crew the hearse. They are gonna do... Yeah, it's just a 3-3. Three, three. Mm, that's fine. I'm not gonna block. All right. A white land is really nice. And then what do I want to do? Play the Sentinel, but that doesn't do much. Take care of this Emery with the wind so I can attack with my Dark Confidant. And then actually I'm going to play Voidwalker just to keep the pressure up. Or do I grasp? No, let's play Voidwalker. If we draw another white source, we could just Skyclave. Urza. Urza is good. Um, if we draw a white land, we get to flicker with the token and then try and kill the urza okay they're keeping the hearse back that's attacking i can also kill the urza and get my own urza with void walker so we flicker wisp the token okay they're gonna crew the hearse and i can kill the urza yeah let's do that I'm gonna go pretty low so if i'm very unlucky with confidence flips i might lose do i want to get an urza um or do i just want to keep this void walker there's it. Good. The token is not super relevant for us. Yeah, I think I don't need the Urza. It does make me a chumper. Okay, I've decided I'm going to go for the Urza. So we have a bit more of a board presence to, to chump this hearse. They take care of those. And then we just chump with the construct. Sure. Lodestone Golem. Okay. Please be kind. Just lands. Okay. Um, Skyclave. I could take the Lodestone Golem, but I'm going to take the Hearse and then play my Sentinel. Seems fine. And then attack with the Flicker Wisp because I do need to try and win this game. Dark Confidence don't work. I mean, we've taken some damage off of it, but it also has done absolute work. It might be time for its demise, but I can't take this hit. So it's either throwing away the Esper Sentinel or the Confidant. I think I'm going to throw the AOA, the Esper Sentinel. That's fine keep the confidant then the blood chief thirst will kill this golem mutavolt hmm i'm gonna have to win this game in the air i guess oh wow loran is a nice one play loran kill this lodestone golem uh play land play line sash and then attack just in the air <clears throat> there is a consideration for killing our own confidant but there's only three hits in the deck that just we die there's shriekma there's the hero, and then there's Parallax Wave. At least it, it would make for good content. Opponents just drawing lands. You can also just attack with the Confidant at some point. I guess their plan is waiting for us to die to our own Confidant. I don't think it will happen, but we'll see. Come on. Ooh, <laughs> Mana Crypt we are not casting. I don't want to have to dodge too many things on my upkeep. So I think we spin Urza. Swords to Plowshares. Okay. Swords to Plowshares is a nice one. I guess we send with everything. No, Skyclave is bad to attack with. They can eat the Dark Confidant. I think I'll let them. Definitely Flicker Wisp. Definitely this Lion Sash. And then Urza will stay back. I'll attack with the Confidant. And I will attack with Loran. We can just Swords one of their lands. Animate Factory. They're going to block there. I can just eat my Sentinel. They can pump their guy. And I will be fine with that. So these will trade. I can only play this this turn. So I think I will just Swords my Confidant. It's done its work. We gain a bit of life. And we're less likely to just die. Still have a removal spell left. I still have Urza to get some value off. I think we'll be fine. I'm not sure if the Urza play with the Voidwalker was the correct one. But yeah, they're digging with top. Voidwalker might have just killed them faster. But I think we would have needed to chump with the Confidant sooner. And the Confidant's also given us a lot of value. All right, and the scoop. Match one is in the books. Let's go for match two. Match two, again, no white sources in our opener. Um, we can play a turn to Void Walker, but even the Mana Crypt doesn't do much. We know our deck is not the ideal Mana Crypt deck, but a bit better than doing nothing would be nice. This hand could really use a Mana Crypt. Um, I think I'm gonna keep. We're on the draw. I don't wanna go to five. Maybe this Esper Sentinel draws me a card if they're greedy enough. We put back the hero that's the most expensive card and we have some some ways to catch back up i guess but we'll see maybe we just draw mana crit i take a mox i take a land to be honest don't be greedy just a land land will be nice okay turn one ancestral recall okay we got our wish we got a land so we can play the game actually we can play the game pretty well they have nine cards in hand so if they don't do anything then they'll have to discard depends on the makeup of their hand but i don't always love the 
turn one ancestral. Okay, Mox Ruby already gonna pay? No, nice. Okay, that's cool. Also scary because they get to play something. Is this like turn two Oko? Esther might. And then untap something. Untap the Mox Ruby. Bolt to Sentinel. Ragavan. Okay. Uh, I don't want to get twinned, but I, I also don't want to ramp them. So I think I'm just going to play the Copter. If they have twin, they have twin. The Copter lets us block the Ragavan. Getting hit by Ragavan is also not just game over, contrary to popular belief. They didn't have... Well, we're going to crew. And we're going to hope to get to block, but likely we will not be. All right, all right, all right. We get hit by Ragavan. And they exiled a plane. Sure, that's fine. I think I'm just going to cast Lingering Souls. Blocks Ragavan, blocks Pestermite. They have Spell Pierce. Uh, I mean, we get to draw a card, but no. Still not the worst. I will trade the Sentinel for, for Ragavan, if they let me. I mean, the Sentinel's drawn us two cards. Ragavan has gotten them a treasure. So Sentinel is better than, than Ragavan. Frantic Cert. Are they again not going to pay? So greedy. They must be digging for twins. So I do want to kind of kill this Pestermite. Judgment it or wins it at this stage. Discarding two lands. I don't want to get twins. But if I do too early, then I'm going to lose because I'm pathing them and not aggressing my own ward. Fiery Islet. But I have plenty of mana now anyways. Bloodthirsty Adversary. Okay. And we won't be able to block. Yeah. They get to recall again. I'm going to block the Ragavan. I'm done taking damage from that thing. Then now what? I think we they've dug more cards deep to maybe find a twin. I could play Giver, wins the Pestermite, push or thirst the adversary. I think that's what I should be doing here. Kill that and then play the Giver and then pass. But see how nice it's been to have all of this cheap removal. Just cheap plays and removal have been pretty good this game. Goblin Electromancer. What is our opponent doing? Are they like storm or what's going on here? Not going to block. We'll fall down to five. Fractured identity. Pretty aggressive. Our opponent's deck is weird. As we go souls and confidant and then pass. Confidant can block Uro. Okay. So they're just four color good stuff. And there's a signet shirt. Um, let's double block this and... Single block that. They can give it pro white. They can save one guy. I guess they get to get back Uro. They choose to save the Venser. That's fine. Let's see. Voidwalker. Yeah. We can go Voidwalker, Copter. We will get hit by this Venser. They will probably Uro. We have an answer for Uro with Council's Judgment. It's going to be a difficult game to win. Maybe if we draw Shriek Maw. Shriek Maw, Ephemerate it. I could do something. I definitely want the Lion Sash and maybe also the Relic against their uh, Uro flashback ancestral deck. Let's see how aggressive they want to be with their Giver or if they just want to protect their Uro. If they protect the Uro, we might be in bigger trouble. For some reason, our opponent is taking a very long time escaping their Uro. Hope they don't disconnect. As much as it's nice to get the win, it's not great for content. Okay, they're finally back. They didn't put in a land. That means they have three spells, so... That is unfortunate. Then again, our opponent drew six more cards than... Well, that's not true. Our Esper Sentinel drew us a bunch of cards too. That was the escape trigger that resolved. So maybe... No, they still didn't put in a land. So now they have four non lands that we are probably not beating. Hmm, we have more. What is this? Four mana. Is this twin on their fencer? Okay, a bunch of tapping and untapping and then a stowaway. And nothing. No attacks. Yeah, we draw a swamp. I think we're going to pack it in. We can't kill the Uro right now. We don't have creatures. They have too many cards. Yeah, we're not going to draw anything either. Okay, that was unfortunate. I want the Lion Sash. I want... Do I want Thalia? Still don't think so. Relic. I'll take out the Spirit. I don't seem to be a board wipe deck. Maybe the Relic is a bit overboard. Especially since we're leaving in the Souls. Yeah, let's play it like this. All right, good hand. I'm going to keep. They were willing to play into my Esper Sentinel. And I have some nice cards otherwise. I mean, Parallax Wave is better if we can put some more pressure on, but Swords helps us answer an early threat. And yeah, we'll see. They did Mulligan. Let's go Sentinel and pass. Ideally, they play into this. Tropical Island. They're going to pay, I presume. Yeah, now they are. I want to draw Dark Confidant or Voidwalker. Mm, another removal spell is not what we want to draw. Just going to attack. Maybe they Ragavan me, but we have removal for Ragavan. Imperial Recruiter, yep. 
I don't think I'm going to kill this. Deceiver Exarch. So they're definitely a twin deck. Okay. Let's play Thraven Inspector. Play land. Pass. We get to crack our clue. Parallax Wave is pretty good against twin. With it in play, they can't really combo out. Considering the makeup of our hands, can't really combo out anyway. So crack the clue. Hmm, Hero Blade holds. Sadly, I can't really afford to just cast that. Let's go to combat. Attack with the Thraben. Imagine they just take it. What I think I'm going to do here... I don't just want to keep up Infernal Grasp and have that be it. I'm just going to play this Skyclave Apparition. That can blow up the Mox Ruby. We add something to the board. And we still have the Swords for the Exarch. And if they kill this, they don't get anything back. Okay, they play Pestermite. And they tap that thing. Okay. They're going to try and Ragavan then. I'm going to Swords of the Ragavan if that's what they go for. Trinket Mage. If we draw another land, we can just slam the hero. Relic of Progenitive. Looks like they don't have another land. I'm just going to go slam this hero. Uh, if they have it, they have it. If they don't have it, they are in a heap of trouble. I mean, they can play Scared, but... I don't think that's going to win me the game. Frantic Search. Okay, we get to draw a card, but they get quite a few looks at it. There's the land. Please don't twin me. Maybe I should have just played Parallax Wave, wave out their creatures, attack. But I'm only attacking for four. Discard Uro and Omnath. Dynamic Duo. Please don't have red land. No, blue land. Okay, so we're not getting twin this turn then. I guess they get to pester my Exarch, my hero, which is annoying, but player scrub land. I can play the wave, get more attacks in. Let's just be a bit more patient. Play Giver, go to combat, play Deceiver. That down, sure. What is this? Golos. Okay. Getting a red source, maybe? Do need to take care of this Golos. They have one card in hand. Would be funny if they're just not playing Twin. They're attacking with the Pestermite. We'll take the hit, and then we'll kill the Golos, because we're going to have to do that anyways. Play a land, play wave. I guess Void Walker too. I'm going to wave away this thing. Um, don't really need to wave anything else. I'm going to play the Void Walker, because we have the wave in play. They can't really get us. Uh, the Giver doesn't need to attack. And then Battle Cry. First make the tokens, then let the Battle Cry resolve. You can trade with something, but that's whatever. Yeah. Jump. Wow. Just taking the damage. Sure. Yeah. Cracking the relic to draw a card. All right, we win. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, What do we want? I'm sort of tempted to play Mana Tithe. What would I take out? Maybe the Ephemerate. Ephemerate's good with Flicker Wisp, Shriek Maw, Council's Judgment. Or Flicker Wisp, Skycrave, Loran. Not that much else. Thraben, I guess. Yeah, it's a bit of a got you card, but under draw it might help us versus like a twin and if we have an sentinel it becomes a better as well okay this is fine could definitely get overrun but we also don't have a good answer to twin right now tundra nothing Ooh, i can go giver or raven let's go giver they didn't have the ancestral that's nice okay nothing Ooh, inquisition let's see what they have they drew the ancestral no spell pierce okay Unfortunate, but whatever. Play our Thraben and then attack. I'd like to not see red mana on the other side. Okay, that we can kill. Okay, there's red mana, but there's no threat of twin right now. Hmm. I could play Blood Chief Thirst, kill this, or Endcopter, or I can play Skyclave Apparition. I think this is better. This is where it's get kind of scary. Oof. What a draw. What a draw. Nice. Feeling pretty good now. Vencer bouncing my copter again. Mm, yeah, okay. I guess we replay this. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. Trinket Mage. What is getting the relic? Or the Mox? Getting the Mox. Okay. Doesn't do that much at this stage. Not attacking. Interesting. Gotta try and crew this. Let's go attack. We want to loot. Yes. Let's go to Swamp. Play the Scrubland. Um, what do I want to do? I don't really want to take care of either of these creatures with the apparition. I think I can do better. I guess we just flicker wisp, flicker or thraben. Mana leak. Okay, they have no cards in hand. Sure. Unfortunate, but it's fine. No ancestral, please. Boss's Oracle. Our opponent's deck is wild. Let's see. No cards on top, please. They did put a card on top. Okay. Well, I was going to say they should be attacking. Draw another swamp. Okay. I think I have to play something. 
and I can take care of the Skyclave. I think I take care of the Venser. This does give him the biggest creature when it dies, though. So that might have been a mistake. I'm going to crew with this because I don't want to block with it. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Maybe I should have... Yeah, this was a mistake. I should have attacked with the Copter first. We're just drawing lands, but at least we're filtering through it. This is why Smuggler's Copter is just so good. It filters your draws while killing your opponent. And it's a colorless card. Okay, let's see. Let's see. We're going to draw a card with the Islet. Did they find the Ancestral? They drew a land, which I imagine is not the thing that they uh, went and got. Crack our clue. More lands. More lands. All right. Um, still going to crew with this. I don't really want to attack with it. And then when they block, do something. They find Pestermite. Tap that down. Sure. Um, I'm not going to play a land because I expect to be able to use my copter. What I could have done was actually crew it again and then give it pro blue, which maybe I should have done. Okay, library. We get in for two. I'm not too worried about my life total right now. Uh, let's play this line sash. I'm actually going to crew with the Skyclave again. Keep this back on D. Can get pretty big. Attack with the copter. Yep. Do some looting. Discard the planes. I'll keep the Thoughtseize. I can imagine that we discarded at some point, but right now it might still be relevant. I can see if they have a card that I thought sees them. They've been showing that they're willing to play all the lands that they draw anyways. Drew something. Fractured Identity. <sighs> I think I'm going to sort my own guy. Otherwise, my sword is pretty dead anyway. Can we just kill them now? If we equip the Sash to the Copter? Uh, yeah, if we exile permanence it's now two so we need to exile two more permanents which we have we know they don't have anything so exile this planes exile the swamp crude copter with this thing reconfigure to that and attack you for seven in the air yeah we'll loot discard a swamp and you can't have anything gg all right so you know going for another trophy pretty good this seems to be working on to the finals and we have a very nice hand Turn one Smuggler's Copter off a Mana Crypt. We have a Loran, and we maybe also have a turn two Hero Blade Hold. So we're definitely keeping, we even have a removal spell to interact with whatever our opponent's choosing to do. Ooh, Voidwalker. So we go Mana Crypt, play Copter. And the question is, do I want to have the potential turn two Hero or the turn two Voidwalker? I guess we play a Plains. Turn two Hero is so much better than turn two Voidwalker. If we draw a swamp, then yeah, sure. It's sort of sad, but whatever. I was really hoping they would play a signet here, but no such luck. Go heads, lost a flip. Thought seize. Okay. Well, let's thought seize you. Ooh, Brazen Borrower or Deck Faden. I mean, Brazen Borrower is annoying because they're going to bounce my Smuggler's Copter, but Deck Faden is going to steal my Smuggler's Copter. If I have to choose between the two, I know what I'm going to choose. I'm going to play Loran and I'm going to crew the Copter. They're going to bounce it. That's fine. We're going to hope to maybe draw like a hero. Okay, they're not even going to let us crew it. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not going to blow up my mana crypt. Thank you very much. Play the mountain. What are you going to... Oh, they drew a burst lightning. Sure. Okay. Go heads. One to flip. Mox jet. So we go copter, mox jet. And then they're going to probably rolling earthquake this. And that'll be fine. Sad, but it is what it is. They are indeed... Earthquaking. We are looking to draw a white source or another creature that we can cast. In their hands, two mountains, and they have a brazen borrower. Heads lost a flip. Okay, white source. Nice. Play the hero. Crew the copter. What would I want to draw? Flicker Wisp or Bloodsheet Thirst. This can kill the brazen borrower. Let's take the Flicker Wisp. Just have another creature in case they kill this. They go get a trop. Iteration. Okay. I really hope we get to attack with this hero island gets exiled that's not very exciting let's go heads again one the flip i guess what we can do is just play flicker wisp flicker their island so they play their brazen bar before combat we know what they're gonna do at least yeah let's do that crew this i guess we gave them an extra mana we should have done the stomping ground yeah they're gonna play that they're gonna kill my copter which is fine i also don't really want to race so they could kill me with the brazen bar potentially Oh, wave. Nice. Discard the land. Think about your dudes. Yeah, they block. Down to seven. 
You have two mountains still in hand. That's one. Inferno Titan. Well, Wave's going to take care of that. Get to kill most of my creatures, but we get to wave this, and then the hero kills them. Going to go Tails. Ah, should have stayed heads. Dark Confidant. Some more life loss. Parallax Wave. Wave this. Wave goodbye. Now, just stack our triggers correctly, and then they should be dead. Yep. Oh, well, they don't even need to see it. All right, all right, all right. What did we see? Not that much. Kind of want to take out Ephemerate again. Maybe that shouldn't have been in the main deck. Loran, they also didn't show any targets for, but it's still fine. Maybe Ephemerate. It's good against removal stuff. And then put in Mana Tive. Underdraw. Maybe Destroy Evil. Kills Titan. So we have plenty of removal. I can also see playing the Elspeth as another big thing to get into play early off of Mana Crypt. All right, let's see. Ooh, I'm going to keep this. We have the Mana Tive to maybe slow them down a bit. We have Copter, which is one of our best cards. We just need to draw a Black Source. Um, hmm. I could play the Copter. Need to draw a fairly specific card. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Hope to like draw Mox Jet or a White Creature or Dark Confidant or like Lingering Soul. There's, there's plenty of things in our deck that uh, let us crew copter next turn. They don't do anything. Heads. One to play. Okay, let's play our swamp. It's gonna look pretty foolish if <laughs> we don't crew this copter for a couple turns. Wall of Roots. Okay. It's another weird color pile. It's gonna go heads. Lost the flip. Dark Confidant. I can live with that. Um, play planes. Use the mana crypt mana for this. Crew the copter. This is a lot of life loss though, but they're also not pressuring our life total, which is pretty nice. Yeah, let's mana tie that. Uh, attack. <laughs> Get to discard lingering souls to copter. Gotta love that. Okay, okay, okay. Forest. Okay, burst lightning. My confidant. Sure. I might judgment the wall just to make sure. I don't get like tightened. Although, yeah, if they tighten me, whatever, right? Let's go Thraven Inspector, make a clue, crew the copter, Skyclave Apparition, discard this Winds of Abandon then, and then crack this clue. Okay, and Skyclave the wall to delay a Titan. They have the Brazen Borrower? Yep. That's weird. Why would they not do that sooner? Courser of Crewfix. Ooh, there's the Inferno Titan. Do they have the land though? No, it doesn't look like they have the land. One to flip. Um, I think I judgment this play copter. The reason to judgment that thing is because we know they have Inferno Titan in to on the top. They have no lands in their hand. So that means they're not playing a land next turn also. We have a pretty slow clock. They're not really doing much. They're drawing Inferno Titan. They can't play this Brazen Borrower. Yeah, we don't know what the rest of the cards in their hand are, but imagine they're not great. Riftwing Cloudsgate. Like, yeah, that if they get out of it, that could be good, but there's a good chance they don't get out of it on time. Go ahead, lost the flip. Okay, more cheap removal. Um, let's flashback souls. Crew. Maybe flashbacking souls was not the right thing to do here. Kind of whatever. I just wanted the extra damage. Uh, let's discard the sorcery speed remove or the void walker. No, void walker is pretty good at some point, I'm sure. And pass. Roiling Orc Earthquake also doesn't do it here. You can kill my board. Expressive Iteration. Yeah, then they have two green mana and whatever land they might find. All right, we got there. Got the trophy. That's four trophies out of five drafts now. This this strategy seems to be working, and I'm very happy that I follow that Twitter discourse on top 50s. And then saw people mock uh, people picking like stuff like Parallax Wave very highly and stuff. It does work very well. Just play to the board early and then keep your opponent off balance by playing various removal and disruptive spells. And play to the board. So not necessarily counter spells because then you need mana up. But you can just catch up towards the plowshares. Uh, I'll try more of this strategy and hopefully this is something that you guys can also try yourselves. Maybe you are similarly struggling like I was before, and this might help you uh, win some trophies. So uh, I hope to see you for the next one.